Hello everyone. Welcome back to BioInfo Tips. Today, we're going to learn how to perform a student's t-test using SPSS. The student's t-test is a statistical method used to compare the means of two groups and determine if they are significantly different from each other. This is a common analysis in many fields, such as psychology, biology, and social sciences. So, if you're a student or researcher looking to analyze your data, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive in. First, make sure you have your data ready in a format that SPSS can understand. Each group you want to compare should be in a separate column, and each row should represent a different observation or case. Go to the Analyze menu, then select Compare Means, and choose Independent Samples T-Test. This is the option we'll use for comparing the means of two groups. If you have more than two groups, you might need to use a different test, like ANOVA. In the Independent Samples T-Test dialog box, you'll need to specify the two groups you want to compare. Select the variables representing each group from the list on the left and move them to Thetis variable S box on the right. You can adjust some options in this dialog box, like confidence intervals and assumptions about equal variances. Depending on your research question and the characteristics of your data, you might want to change these settings. Click OK, and SPSS will run the t-test. You'll see the output window with several tables. Look for that test table, which provides the essential information about the comparison of means, such as the t-value, degrees of freedom, p-value, and confidence intervals. Based on the p-value, you can determine whether the difference between the means of the two groups is statistically significant or not. If the p-value is below your chosen significance level, commonly 0.5, you can conclude that there's a significant difference between the groups. Congratulations! You've just learned how to perform a student's t-test using SPSS. Remember, statistical analysis is a powerful tool, but it's essential to understand the context of your research and the assumptions of the test you're using. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to BioInfo Tips for more tutorials on data analysis and research methods. Thanks for watching.